So how is it that you make netherite armor? This is what I'm going to show you. So you got to do a couple of things, and believe it or not, one thing that must be done, you actually have to go to the nether as part of crafting that, okay? Kind of strange, right? Oop. So this is how you make a portal. Just two by three kind of thing. Oops. You can make it a little bit bigger, but this is the cheapest. All right. And of course, now we're in the nether, and this is what it... Oh! That's what it looks like. Oh, get back in. <laughs> All right, very, very nice. Now, the reason why you have to come here is because you actually... Oh, that's dangerous. You actually have to find a bastion remnant, okay? Now, in a bastion remnant, there's a chance of loot. And you're looking for this. This particular smithing template right here for the netherite upgrade. It used to be in previous Minecraft, you didn't need it. And so if you try to do this the old way in the newest version, it will not work. You have to get a smithing template, okay? Now to find that, a bastion remnant can just be about anywhere. You can go exploring. Or if you want to cheat, if you have that ability, locate, structure, Minecraft, bastion remnant, right there. And there's another way to go and find it. Or actually, even if you just have the seed, if you type that seed in, to like a, a seed lookup, Minecraft seed lookup. You can put that in there and look at maps and you can actually find bastion remnants that way. Interesting, isn't it? So once you've done that, you know, you got your smithing template. Now we can move on to the next step. Now I'm going to need a crafting table. Put that right there. Then I'm going to need two iron ingots along with some planks of any kind. Go like that, oops. And like that. That gives you your smoothing table. I'm going to put that down right there. And then you need to make diamond armor of any kind, right? Well, it doesn't matter. We're just going to make one of them because all the rest follow the same pattern. Now we've got a diamond chest plate. We're almost there. But now we have to do something. We have to find what's called ancient debris. Okay? So this is what it looks like. And you find it in another. And typically level... 13 is the best level to go at. So you see I'm at level 71. Why? Want to go down until you reach level 13 and then start mining anywhere in that area and just start looking around for one of these and you have to mine them with a diamond pickaxe. Anything lesser will not mine it. Once you've got those, you can then put them in a furnace to cook them. All right. So <laughs> why not just use that as fuel? Okay. We're not going to wait for that, because once it cooks, it's just going to look like this netherite scrap. Okay. Now, let's get some of these. Let's try remember here. I'm, I'm testing my memory. Oh, yep. Yeah, nether ingot, see? Four of each. And that gives you your nether ingot, putting those together. So that's netherite scrap and gold gold ingots. Once you've got that, you're actually ready. It's time to do this. Come, oh, come over to the smithing table. That is right here. Now put your smithing template right here. And by the way, there is a way to duplicate te uh, smithing templates. So don't just use it up. Make sure you duplicate these a couple times so that you only have to find one, okay? Now I'll put that in and put whatever you want to upgrade. Where is my diamond armor? Uh, let's just do it again. Oh. So you put in smithing template, your armor right here, or diamond pickaxe, anything a diamond, and then put in your other ingot right here. Oh, and we finally have it. It's definitely a lot more complicated than it used to be, but that's how it works. See, now I have netherite armor. And that's what you got to do. So. That's about the size of it, and be sure to uh, uh, duplicate those templates before you start using them, because otherwise you're just wasting them. Um, but that is how you make netherite armor.